All right, I gotta talk about Adam's Family 2, and I gotta be quick because I'm behind and I'm late and I've got other stuff to do. For the most part, my feelings on this one are very similar to my feelings on the first one. It's not my thing. I didn't actively dislike it. There are parts of it that I disliked. There are parts of it that I did like. Not my thing, but, and I think this happened in the first one too and I forgot until I went to see the second one. When I'm sitting in that theater with older people, people my age, younger people, kids, parents, grandparents, and that song starts playing, everyone's snapping along. And just like I said when I went to see it with people of vastly different ages, like, that's something. When you can have an entire audience of different aged people enjoying something together. That's something. And I still mean that genuinely. I'm not, I'm not just saying that as a sarcastic comment. So they've still got that going for them. I don't dislike the idea of a road trip movie. I don't really care for the whole subplot of the house party. Um, they seem to have brought Fester down a little bit in terms of the inappropriateness, which I do appreciate. But then there are other things that other characters say and do that kind of balance that out. So Fester got better, but other people got worse. My big, this is my, this is what I'm taking away from this movie. There's this recurring plot line that Pugsley can't get a girlfriend throughout the whole movie. And then they have him meet Ophelia. And at the time they meet, the understanding both for the audience and for Pugsley is that she might be his sister. Yet still, he finds a romantic attraction to her, which I find kind of disturbing. And then, unless I'm missing something, I believe it's revealed that she's not actually even a girl. She's a pig that has been imbued with girl-like qualities. And when that happened, I was like, wow, that was really weird. Good thing they told us that after we saw that they had a connection to each other. And hopefully most people forgot. But then at the end of the movie, they show them holding hands again. So I'm very confused by that. I'm very disturbed by that. I don't know who approved that decision. And that's all I'm going to say about that. That's my takeaway from this movie, and I don't think that's a good thing. Um, we've got, of course, Lurch singing again in his falsetto voice. I don't know why. They changed up Wednesday's braids. I don't know if those are supposed to be like candlestick style tips or what. Um, instead of the nooses, which, you know, I get that noose imagery is not always pleasant for people, so I'm okay with that. I got nothing else. It, it was, it was a movie. It was fine. Didn't hate it. Didn't love it. Probably not going to watch it again unless the third one comes out. So those are my thoughts on Adam's Family 2. Let me know if you had any thoughts, but that's everything that I have to say. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good day. Hey everybody, Sam Tom here. Just wanted to let you know that I have two channels. If you're watching my music content, I also have a movie channel where I talk about movies and TV shows. If you're watching my movie content, I have a music channel where I do song covers, instrument demos, things like that. So feel free to check that out. Obviously, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that YouTube stuff. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good day.